If you're like a lot of the world, you haven't spent much time in the desert. In the Western world, a lot of the times that we see a desert setting, it's either in a movie, a video game, or maybe in a commercial. But when it comes to this landscape, there's a lot to learn. The surprising thing to learn about these areas is the fact that sometimes you come across things you wouldn't expect. It's not just a desolate landscape filled with nothing. There's a lot more to it than that. There have been so many discoveries in the desert that we're beginning to learn that the desert is a whole world in and of itself. In the hills above St. George, you may stumble across one of these, an old but massive concrete arrow. Luckily for us, there have been people throughout history who have seen and captured these things to spread to the rest of the world and let us know what's going on out there. And today, we're not going to shy away from any of it because we're bringing you 15 shocking things captured in the desert. You might want to bring some water for this one. <laughs> Missing Hiker When you think about the desert, you're probably imagining yourself in it. Because the concept of the desert is an alluring thing. We wonder what's out there. We wonder what our daily life would be like if we were to live there. We even wonder if we can survive out there. Because after all, the desert is a scene that's used throughout various forms of media. You can play in the desert. The desert is a prime location for many movie scenes. And because of all this, the desert remains an attraction for many. It keeps the mind activated and draws people towards it. It continues to be a place that draws people into it, even just to explore. That's where this next one on our list comes into play. It's a hiker that went missing in the desert. There was one desert hiker who had gone searching for mysterious caves, but then left more questions than answers. This was all documented in a video coming from 2014 that was titled Son of an Area 51 Technician. The man in the video was a Las Vegas resident named Kenny Beach. He discovered a mysterious cave during one of his hikes in Nevada. He even brought a gun with him on one of his excavations, or at least he thought he discovered a cave. That was what he was in search of, and then Kenny went missing. Today, the trail has gone cold, and he still hasn't been found. This is the case of being careful in the desert. You should probably do that. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. As we mentioned before, you never quite know what you're going to find in the desert. It's much like the ocean where there's still so much area that hasn't been explored. At the end of the day, researchers and scientists still have so much terrain to cover that you never quite know what's going to be uncovered shortly. Just like in the ocean, there's been plenty of crazy discoveries that I had expected. This was the case when this one location as what they captured in a desert shocked the world. The picture is pretty blurry, as with most creatures that are elusive. You can't make too much of it out, but it almost looks as though it could be a dragon of some sort, and we can't tell whether or not the creature has legs. We don't believe that a creature like this could fly, but the image that we're looking at sure does look like it's floating, which leaves there to be far more questions than there are answers. The problem with this image is that it was taken via a private airplane where the passenger, a wealthy Egyptian billionaire, wanted to remain anonymous. So we don't know whether we'll ever get to exactly know where this creature came from or what it is. There's of course the matter that this creature could be a fake, but the experts who looked at this don't seem to be convinced that that's the case. What do you think this creature is? Let us know your thoughts in the comments with the hashtag missing file to let your voice be heard. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Eagle Mountain Ghost Town We haven't gotten into the nitty-gritty of our list yet, but we're pretty sure that we already know you should have gone into the desert with any sort of expectation other than it's hot. Because there comes a point when you're walking through the desert, you tend to realize that it's not anything that you're prepared for. You may think you know what's coming, but then you're here with a curveball and stumble upon a little town that shouldn't even be there. Maybe you think it's a mirage, or maybe you go to check it out. Either way, you still find it pretty unbelievable to be sitting out there in the middle of nowhere. That leads us to the Eagle Mountain Ghost Town. If you follow us, you know that we love a good ghost town. So let's get into it. It used to be a renewable energy site, and it lies 13 miles north of Desert Center in California. But now it's just fenced off. Every day the case is a little bit more, and the only one to visit it are small security staffs that watch over it. There's one building that's still in use on Eagle Mountain, 
and it's the Eagle Mountain School, which is located right outside the fenced area. It provides education for local children. It does look like a desolate town of the Breaking Bad or a show like that, but unfortunately for the people who still live there, it's all too real. <laughs> Mysterious etchings. No, okay, maybe we should backtrack a little bit. When it comes to the desert, there are a few things that you can expect besides the heat. Maybe you can expect a cactus, a camel, and a whole lot of sand. And that's okay, because even with those expectations, we're still going to come across things that you're going to want to document. Maybe even tell your friends about. Because of scientists and researchers doing it, then of course the everyday person traversing the desert will also find something extraordinary. But let's talk about something that people have found in the desert that's pretty darn extraordinary and that's a bunch of mysterious etchings. They almost look like hieroglyphics. These etchings come out of Oregon and someone finally thinks that they may have solved the mystery of these etchings. It dates back to the year 1990 when a religious etching had mysteriously appeared in the Mickey Mason of Oregon's Alvor Desert. The crazy part is that authorities think that it took thousands of dollars for a lot of men to complete these etchings by using things like high-tech equipment and lasers. And then others think that aliens made these hatchings. But now there's a man named Bill Witherspoon who's an artist from Iowa. He claimed that he and his three friends along with his 10-year-old son created the symbol themselves. Could it be a hoax? Is a man just wanting his 15 minutes of fame? If he's taking the credit seriously, then the mystery is over. But if the man is lying, then the jury is still out on where these etchings came from. <laughs> Ancient Halloumi. So we've already covered the things that you can expect in the desert. And of course, we've put in a few things that you probably shouldn't expect, but other people have found them. You would think by now we wouldn't have anything to top that, but we do. We have something that people are still kind of scratching their heads at and it has to do with some pretty old cheese. If you're eating lunch right now, you might want to put that aside for this one. Because there's been discovered 26-year-old pots of cheese found at Pharaoh's Necropolis. We hope that they weren't saving that for later because we're pretty sure it isn't edible anymore. But let's take a look at it anyway. What happened was archaeologists found 26,000-year-old cheese in Egypt. The cheese has been found inside pottery and was located in a necropolis near Cairo. We've known about Egyptians making cheese for around 5,000 years already. So this isn't too surprising, but it was surprising to find some actual cheese. Again, hopefully no one eats this anytime soon or ever for that matter. <laughs> mysterious Egyptian structure. From old cheese to mysterious edgings, the desert has proved to be a place that's almost like a very hot flea market. And what do you usually find in flea markets besides the things that you're already looking for? Well, you tend to expect a few bizarre things to be sold, off-the-wall type of things that belong in a pawn shop. And the desert is no exception, because this next one on our list brings us to a very bizarre structure. This makes UFO hunters chatter with each other about what it could be. So if you love UFOs and you love random structures in the middle of the desert, then this one is definitely for you. No one quite knows what this bizarre structure isn't, this Egyptian desert. UFO hunters are abuzz and have begun to speculate about it after they spotted it on Google Earth. The complex was spotted in a barren landscape right near Egypt's capital Cairo. This video was posted online by UFO hunters and some say it could be a missile launch or a nuclear bunker. So far, no one's proven that just yet. Based on evidence, something's going to come out soon. It just has to. And hopefully, it's not aliens. <laughs> Crashed UFO. All right, so if you love the last one, then we're going to keep with the trend and keep you happy because this next one on our list is also UFO based. This time, it's not found in Egypt, but it's found in the Arizona desert. People are kind of thinking that a UFO crashed, but we can't be too sure. We're going to have to take a closer look at this next one. It seems like UFOs are always the rage and never fail to capture the imagination of those hoping that there are extraterrestrials in outer space. Does this one prove that there are? It's pretty convincing, actually. There's nothing like a potential crash UFO to get people talking. <coughs> Plane wreck. The good thing about venturing through the desert, it's not only what you're going to find in terms of the landscape, but also what you're going to find in terms of what's missing. A desert is a huge place, and because of that large area that's covered, it attracts all sorts of things that aren't supposed to be there. Things that go missing in the night. 
and one of those things happened to be a plane wreck. That's right, just imagine traveling through the desert and you can come across a missing plane of all things. Well, that's the reality in this one desert, and you won't believe the type of plane that was found. It just goes to show you that sometimes it's not the small things that are missing, but it's the things that you would think are too big to go missing. The plane was named the Desert War Kitty Hawk, and after several years of people talking about where it could be, but now it's finally located, and it's sitting in the middle of a dilapidated desert. And a man named Jacob Perka snapped a photo of it. People thought it was fake at first, but it was proven to be true. A view from the tail shows that the elevators and rudders are almost perfectly preserved. Now that's a cool find. <laughs> Lisa Kovsk Pendergram If you followed our list in the past, you'll know that one of our favorite things to cover is crop circles. Because here at this channel, we love all things mysterious. We love to go deep dive on topics that people just can't explain. Because it's an endless mystery. It's a fun mystery, and when the answer is so close yet so far, those are fascinating puzzles that we can't stop looking at. Crop circles just happen to be in that category, and you usually see these crop circles on Google Earth or from above. That brings us to our next one, where we go to Google Earth and find a mysterious pentagram. It sounds pretty sinister, and that's because it is. But let's find out what this pentagram is all about before we start getting scared. You can see on Google Earth that there's a pentagram and it's located in Kazakhstan. So what's the secret behind it? For years, people have wondered why this pentagram exists. You can only pretty much see it from the sky. The area is known for its archaeological ruins, but there aren't any humans settled there. So needless to say, this is a creepy thing. The predominant theory is that it's attached to ancient Satanist monuments, but the actual answer may be a little bit more boring. When speaking to some researchers, they say it's just an outline of a star associated with a nearby park. But we don't know. It looks pretty pentagrammy to us. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Giant mystery arrows. As much as we like to cover crop circles on the channel, they're pretty ordinary when you think about it. And in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to mystery, there's been so many crop circles throughout history that they're not as shocking when you come across them. And the fact that we never truly get an answer about them doesn't do us any favors either. Luckily, crop circles aren't the only mysterious things cropping up in the world that make us wonder about their origin and why they exist today. Take for example the giant mystery arrows. Usually weapons aren't symbols or pieces on display that can't be explained, but this arrow, that's exactly what's going on here. So these arrows have a purpose though, and they're supposed to guide you across America. They come in handy if you're ever lost on a road trip. They come in at 70 feet each, and you can find them located throughout the country. These exist because the U.S. Postal Service began a cross-country airmail service using Army War surplus planes from World War I. To get the planes and everybody's mail safely across the country, the postman used these arrows. So obviously, if you're on the ground, dates may not work out for you, but if you're in the air flying a plane, look out for the arrows if you get lost. <laughs> Evaporation Ponds The desert seems like one of those places that's immune to the rest of the world. We mean that in the way that the rest of the world is always progressing and changing in terms of technology. Every day there seems to be some sort of new invention that's replacing our cell phones or laptops. There are times when old technology comes back, kind of like the flip phone. It's that never-ending cycle of ingenuity and creativity that fills the world in an endless manner. But when you get to the desert, it always kind of seems like it's the same thing. Sand and heat. There's not much innovation going on there, but when it comes to these evaporation ponds, it almost seems like something out of a terraforming book. But it's just Mother Nature at its best. So what are these evaporation ponds all about? You can find these beautiful ponds in a desert in Utah. Because of potassium chloride, also known as potash, these colors happen. The water takes on the beautiful blue coloring that almost looks like a water painting. This is accomplished by the miners pumping water from the Colorado River deep underground to reach the potash ore, and it lines around 3,900 feet below the surface. The water then dissolves insoluble potash into a brine, which is then pumped into an underground cavern. It's a scientific ordeal but the result is this beautiful blue pond. Let's just enjoy that without all the scientific mumbo jumbo. Hmm. Abandoned Disney Train 
Well, we already covered the fact that there are things out there in the desert that get lost even though they're gigantic. As we said, you don't often imagine a full-size plane going missing in the desert, but that's been debunked. And now we move on to another piece of huge equipment that's just sitting out in the desert, and this one's a little jolly because it's an abandoned Disney train. It's not the first thing that you expect to see when you're traversing a desert. It's not even the last thing that you expect to see because it's completely random. So why is there an abandoned Disney train sitting in the desert? We're gonna have to figure this one out. Found in the Nevada desert is an abandoned Disney World monorail. So it's not exactly a train, but a monorail. In use, it was one of Disney World's most iconic features. But when they're not with you, they have to go somewhere. And we assume this is where Disney dumped its young used monorail once it was out of service. So if you don't wanna spend a lot of money at Disney World and you still wanna ride the monorail, this one doesn't work but you can at least go visit it. Hills Have Eyes Gas Station This one's for everyone and enjoys a good movie reference because we're moving away from the UFOs and the missing planes to Hollywood. Remember when we said that you can find deserts in video games and movies? Well, this also rings through for movie sets because you can also find those in the desert. Imagine walking through the desert and finding the movie set that belongs to the Hills Have Eyes. It's a famous movie that has stamped its place in the history books when it comes to eerie movies. And now, you can go visit this spooky set yourself if you're willing to take a trip out to the desert, that is. Because of one gas station, the set is right there to visit. You can find it on a highway out of Orzaze. From the 2006 horror film, The Hills Have Eyes, you can find everything that you're looking for from that faithful scene where this set is from. And even if you haven't seen the movie, it's still a very chilling sight. You can't go to the diner, but you can peek through the windows and see a bunch of old props like soda cans and food. It's crazy to think that there's just left sitting there, and that just makes it all even spookier. <laughs> Skyscrapers in the desert Remember when we said that you shouldn't get your expectations up before you go out into the desert? That's because you never quite know what's going to be found out there. And we're going to prove this theory to be correct because you don't think about there being skyscrapers in the desert. You usually think of skyscrapers being in big cities like Manhattan or Los Angeles, not in the middle of the desert. But again, this is a big misconception because in one desert, you can find these skyscrapers and surely see them out of place. But they're disproving a common misconception that there are only cactuses in the desert. It's not super accessible, but it's the old walled city of Shabam. It's surrounded by a fortified wall and dates back to the 16th century. It's one of the oldest and best examples of an urban plant based on the principle of vertical construction, aka skyscrapers. They may not look like the ones that you see in Manhattan, but the concept is there. They rise out of the cliff and have given this city the nickname the Manhattan of the desert. Don't count on seeing any Starbucks there, though. <laughs> Zakistan now we take you to a place that stands out on the map. It's a place called Zakistan, and it's unlike any place that you've ever seen. And this is because it's a place that's located in the Newfoundland Evaporation Basin of the Great Salt Lake in a Great Basin region of North America. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but it's a location that stands out. It's a high desert during the day in the sun, it's super hot and intense, and the nights are pretty cool. The scary part is this town is far from any water source, so all the water has to be imported. There's little to no wildlife aside from lizards and some snakes. There's not much going on out here and that's what makes this desert so unique. It's the definition of desolate and we don't recommend visiting. <laughs> Jumping Chola And finally, we've brought up cactuses a lot on this list because cactus is synonymous with the desert. You can't deny that usually when you think of a desert, cactuses are there right after. But this is a cactus that isn't like many other ones because this one shoots needles. Let's just say you might want to watch out wherever you pass one of these bad boys. That's unless you want to get pricked with a needle. So this species of cactus, which is called chola cacti, have adapted itself to the locals in elevations of the hot southwestern deserts. You can even find some of them in high elevation forests or even on the rocky steep slopes of foothills. To survive, they need coarse, well-drained soil. They can grow shrubs, trees, or ground plants and can be short as 12 inches. But it's the shooting needles. It's always getting people talking. Because those people stop to admire the fruit, they can easily come in contact with the barbed spines that almost seem to jump out at them. 
even the slightest touch can leave these little needles in your clothes. Just when you thought you'd seen all types of cactuses, there comes this one. And there you have it, a desert is a place that isn't just sand and cactuses, there are lots of planes, crop circles, pentagrams, and so much more than just what we all expect there to be out there. Sure, it's always going to be hot, but with that heat comes extraordinary finds that even we scratch our heads at. So the next time you're traversing the desert, keep an eye out for all the crazy things that are out there. We'll be here to report them all.